Hello, I'm Daniel from Pwn CNC, and we are here to unbox the Shipoko 3 standard size from Carbide 3D. Stay tuned. All right, howdy. So I have got a Shipoko 3 standard size. Um, this does have the Z Plus upgrade in it, which is awesome. Um, I got it just as they were switching over to all um, uh, discontinuing the belt Z. So we're going to open this up and see what we can find. Now this would be exciting. Ugh. Well, hmm. Ooh, fancy. They've upgraded their packaging. Wow, that does look impressive. They've got a nice uh, decorative here. I'll lift it up for you to see it. And by the looks of it, it may be a much better experience than the last time. Last time being when I opened up my XXL, which is literally above my head. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? We have the assembly manual. I didn't get that a year ago, or a year and a half ago. I picked up my XXL in April, and it was the first CNC that I'd ever bought. So this is actually very beautiful. They've got a nice color, color uh, assembly manual. Let's see. Y axis left assembly, Y axis right assembly. We have a X, Z plus. <laughs> we have the standard final assembly. Looks like it's got the power core, the USB cables, mounting hardware, or spindle mounting hardware, belts. Um, leveling feet, assembly, serial tag, all kinds of things in this guy. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, we've got a 69 millimeter sweepy. I bought the 64 millimeter er, um, whenever it first became available for secondary, and I figured I'd pick up the second one, or the other size, <laughs> so I can do some comparisons on my smaller machines here. Let's see, what is this? There's no labels on this one. So we'll have to do it the old fashioned way. Open it up to find out. I bet these are the extrusions. There's gonna be two on either side and one right across the top. One's the X gantry. The other two are the left and right Y gantries. I guess it wouldn't be really called a gantry, would it? I really should uh, beef up on my terms. I don't really know terms very well. All right. Well, this one's definitely the X gantry. This would be one of the Ys. Looks like it's maybe the left one because it's got the uh, bolts and that's where my um, Chipogo, uh, the XXL's controller box mounts to. Of course, this one also has um, some uh, threaded uh, holes, so it may go on this side. So looks like both Ys are identical. Let's see, what else do I got? This guy, what is he? Everything is well assembled. I don't see much of an issue. There's enough open space and cavities that if there was any shifting, it wouldn't do much damage. All right, looks like we've got our front and back plates. These are the steel plates that you mount the extrusions onto. Very nice. 
Let's see. Oh, I'm going to have to move everything out of the way. <laughs> because underneath, is the MDF bed. Now, if you guys know some of my other products, you know that I teamed up with 8020, who happened to have a rep in my, in my neighborhood, literally, and replaced my um, XXL's bed with aluminum extrusions. Um, I will be assembling this guy um, stock as is, exactly the way it was sent to me. Um, and then I will be upgrading uh, various things. And of course, one of the things that will be upgraded is the bed to an aluminum extrusions. And don't worry, I know the first time whenever I assembled my XXL at the beginning of the year, I only took photos and wrote an article. I didn't quite have my video set up <laughs> as well as it could have been, and I didn't record a video. But I will record a video this time, and based on all of the feedback and input, there is a way to install the bed without taking your machine apart. So I'm going to do some extra um, questioning of a couple of the people who've been able to do that. It'll be very exciting. Um, let's take a look at the, some of the other pieces here. So, if I were to lay this out, the way I know this works is, so we've got our bed, and, yep, I bet it goes this way. And we have, I don't believe there's any differences between these plates. So, one will go in the front, one will go in the back, and of course it lines up with the holes on the uh, bed on the bed itself what do we got we have oh then my extrusions will go on either side and of course the x gantry goes right across the top we have a y left assembly so this guy this big plate here will sit over on this side and sit just like this, right on top of the extrusions there. Adjust it so it doesn't fall off my table. Um, so we'll set that aside. We have our Y right assembly. And just like before, or just like the other one, it will go on this right side. And what do we got here? Here is our X and Z. So the X is the part that goes in the X direction. <laughs> and of course, the Z is the part that goes up and down. So, interesting. I have one. That, oh, that would be the uh, X motor. So, the this guy sits right onto the Extrusions here goes left and right. This plate right here goes up and down on the ball on the uh, on the screw here. This stepper motor gets installed right here on the back, and it will control our um, X. This guy controls our Z. Let's see what else we got. We got mounting screws. Looks like this is the easy tram plate that gets set, set on there. Uh, we'll figure that out whenever we go to install it. And let's see. Aha! So, all Shapokos come with the router mount. Uh, nice carbide sticker there. Too bad it's not green. Like I've seen some green ones. Too bad it's not green. It's the classic uh, metal plate with the silver. We've got the insert, which changes it from a 69 um, millimeter for uh, DeWalt's to the, no, DeWalt trim routers, to the smaller uh, 64 for the um, Makita and, or, yeah, Makita and uh, the uh, 
the trim router from um, Carbide, which I did not order simply because I've got plenty um, and eventually I'm going to be upgrading this guy just like my, CNC, my new carve um, to a spindle because I am hoping to cut aluminum with this um, and hopefully, oh yeah, hopefully everything will go re well. I may have to do some upgrades in order to make it work with aluminum, but we're going to try it with stock, um, just straight out, cut aluminum with it and see what happens and see what we need to upgrade and that sort of thing. Let's see, we have our controller board. Um, this has got the extra pieces um, for all their new accessories. Yeah, this is quite nice. It's, it, they did save a little bit of money. It, it's not mounted on a, an aluminum plate, a very thick aluminum plate like my one from a year and a half ago. But it's got nice thumb screws for accessing it, so that's convenient. Um, a nice center hole for all the pieces, and it looks like I may be able to mount it on either side, but I suspect it's going to go on the left side. I have my USB cable, power cable, a couple of zip ties, and this would be the Shipoko's power brick. Uh, there's a power brick involved. I've got mine mounted way up here for my um, my XXL, um, it's literally above my head and has an umbilical cord and all that. I'll demonstrate that in a different video. What do we got here? We have additional cables. Aha! This is interesting. This is their proximity switch upgrade. Um, did see that the X came with it. So this is the proximity switches that come with the newer machines with the Z Plus. And I just bought the 4.0 HDZ. I'm excited to see that. I've got the 3.3 HDZ installed on my XXL. Um, I did order the uh, proximity switches with it. I do have my own proximity switches that I am, have been working on forever. But um, we'll see what they, they're going to be coming out releasing their proximity switch upgrade kit for independent sale um, two weeks according to uh, the last video I saw. Uh, but looks like various pieces, some um, proximity switch offsets. Here's the riser board which turns the um, two pin proximity switch on their controller board into three pins which are what's required for the proximity switches themselves. Set that aside, a bunch of zip ties and that sort of thing for assembly. What do we got here? Let's see, these are the feet. Don't know if I'll actually be using those. I do use them on my XXL, but it looks like they are significantly bigger on the XXL. Let's see, we've got some Loctite. A um, bunch of Allen wrenches and screws, or and, uh, and regular wrenches. Very nice. It comes with the Nomad Tools number 201, a uh, Sharpie for the first test. Um, our belts, various, uh, looks like M5 screws. Uh, some additional M5 screws for mounting. Looks like these may be. M4, it looks like, possibly. We'll find out whenever we go to assemble it. And of course, here's our belts, um, belt attachments for, for actually mounting the belts. But yeah, I hope you're as excited as I am. Uh, this is going to be a fun project to build. I have lots of experience um, dissecting my XXL, so this one will be no problem. I don't really need to do a whole lot of studying, maybe just on new stuff like the proximity switches. Um, and the Z Plus. Um, this, this is the second one I've gotten in my hands. Um, I'll be very excited to validate my designs. And um, once I start playing with it, um, tweaking those designs to make sure that they are as effective as possible. And of course, every upgrade usually comes with its own little uh, piece that you can um, buy that separately so you can get the experience, the upgraded version without having to uh, buy the entire thing, all, uh, you know, the entire Dots boot. 
but yeah, I am excited. I hope you're as excited. Be sure to like and subscribe um, on my channel. Um, I keep laughing. Um, I hear that every time on YouTubers. Uh, believe it or not, it does actually help. Um, it promotes the show. It helps um, in a little bit um, in helping, uh, well, encourage me, encourage the community into watching it, and it is awesome. So be sure to do that. And as always, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.